Good day to you. Today I'd like to help you calculate the mass percents of copper and oxygen in copper 1 oxide. In order to do that, we first have to find the mass of the total compound, and I created a nice little simple table to help us out with that. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the elements I see in the compound. So we see copper and we see oxygen. Next is then to take into account the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of copper, there is a two. That means that there are two copper atoms. And then oxygen, there is an invisible one over there. So that means there's one oxygen. Then we're gonna take those number of atoms, multiply by the mass of each particular element. That's found on the table, periodic table that is. Here's the mass of copper, 63.55, and oxygen is about 16. So those are the masses we're gonna write down. So this is 63.55, and oxygen is about 16. Then we're gonna find the total mass of each element in the compound, and to do that, we're simply gonna multiply this row on across. So the total mass here of copper is gonna be 127.1. Total mass of oxygen here is 16. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, guess what we're gonna do? Simply add that column on up. So all we have to do now when we add that together is it's going to equal 143.10. So in finding the percent composition, this was the first thing to do, find the total mass. Now that we found the total mass, I'm going to add a column to this table. It's going to be easy peasy from here. Bam. So to find the mass percent, or let's say the percent composition of copper, we're going to take the total mass of the copper, the total mass, and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound. Right? So that's going to be 127.10 divided by 143.10. And then you're going to multiply that by 100. That's a simple percent calculation. It's part over whole times 100. And when you do that, we're gonna arrive at a percentage of roughly 88.82%, all right? And that's then the percent of copper in copper one oxide. Next is then for oxygen, take the total mass of the oxygen, 16 over 143.10, who cares about the zeros on the top? Don't worry about sig figs, I don't really care about them in this problem. Uh, 11 point, uh, oh, uh, excuse me, 11.18, and that's gonna be the total percent then of the oxygen. All right, and then just to kind of check yourself before you wreck yourself, you're gonna to wanna to add these percents together to just make sure it comes out to 100%. And if it does, you got a 100% on this question, my friend. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to helping you with more problems. Check out our channel. We have thousands of videos out there, physics, mathematics, chemistry here. We got other stuff coming out, organic chemistry, statistics. Love to help you out with more stuff. Take care.